Good news kapwa Pinoy. You know what? Madali ngayon kasi ang $1 is about 50 pesos. Because that 50 could be 50.1, 50.2, 50 or 51. Okay lang. We just need to estimate. So use 50. How's the easier way to do times 50 or divide by 50? Check this out. Let's start by converting US dollars to pesos. You know, you have to multiply it by 50. But some people are having a hard time multiplying by 50. But it's easier to do the following. I could multiply by 100, which is moving the decimal point two places to the right, and dividing by two is easy. Hinahati mo lang. So if I multiply 15 by 100, just think of 15 followed by two zeros, right? And then after that, that's 1500. What's the next? Divide it by two. Divided by two, that's gonna be 750. This will now be pesos. All right? Easy enough. It's a example. Now, make it times 100. The shortcut for 100 is just two places to the right. So that's nine zero followed by two zeros again. So think of 9,000, but sobra. If, it's, if you multiply it by 100, that's too much. So again, split it, divide by two. That's gonna be 4,500 pesos. Got it? All right, one more. If I have 450, again, 450, add two zeros, so you're thinking of 45,000, split it up, that's gonna be 22,500 pesos. Oh, this one, try it naman, 1,200. $1,200. So I multiply that by 100 or oh. simply move the decimal places to the right two times. That will give me 120,000 divided by two. So it will give me 60,000 pesos. Correct. Suppose you're in the Philippines. You want to see how much is this thing compared to the U.S. Minsan, kino-compare natin para malaman natin which one is mas mura o mas mahal. Actually, you're dividing it by 50. But dividing by 50 is difficult for some people. Now, check this out. Dividing by 50 is just like dividing by 100. But sumobra naman pag 100. After doing that, then double it. Okay, let's try this now. If I divide by 100, I simply move the decimal point two places to the left. So I'm thinking of two, okay? After getting two, multiply it by two, and I get four US dollars, okay? So try the next one. Move the decimal places twice to the left, you're thinking of 70, but that's too much. So double it, that becomes what? 140. Bibilin mo yung, yung furniture, 12,000 pesos. Oh, mahal. Magkano kaya to sa US? So divide by 100. I'm thinking of 120. But that's too much. Double it. That's gonna be, what? 240 US dollars. Oh, mahal na furniture yan. Huwag kong bibilin yan. Alright, last. Let's try this. Okay, 230,000. 230,000 pesos. I divide it by 100, or move the decimal places two times to the left, that gives me 2,300. And I multiplied it by two, that gives me $4,600. You could do mental math. Therefore, whether you're in the Philippines or in the States, madali na lang mag-compute kahit walang cell phone, kahit walang calculator. Use your mind.